it takes some of the issues of the day very seriously but the tone remains the same of the film which is that it's warm and funny and kind and enabling and it's about a community supporting one another so I think maybe we're all in need of a bit yeah. of a lift <laughs> The Graham Norton Radio Show on Virgin Radio. Simon Beaufoy, who wrote the original film, was asked um, several times if he wanted to do a sequel to the film as a film and um, never felt that it was the right time. But um, he, I believe, felt that there was a real imperative to re-examine what it's like in certain working class communities. Um, which, and you know, the original film was Sheffield, um, a group of men recovering from the demise of the steel industry, going back and looking at whether things have got better in Sheffield. And he felt that now was the time to examine that. And he wanted to do it in this form because actually you've got eight hours to really dig into that, dig into all of the characters yeah. and tell a really broad story rather than just 90 minutes. And also, we should say, this isn't like, oh, the stripping troupe get back on the road. I mean, this is it's these are kind of deep dive stories into all of these characters. It's, yes. it's something you couldn't do in a film. Yeah, 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 exactly. And the brilliant thing about doing something again is that, you know, you can really focus on what it is that interests you. And because... 25 years is a long time in anybody's life, but for Simon to sort of say, oh, well, what would, where would Lomper be now? You know, who might he be with? Would he be married? Um, what would be happening to Horse? What's happened to Dave and Jean? You know, there's a really great playbook there to mess around with. And also what I loved is that he's opened it out. The, there are all these other characters. There are children, there are grandchildren. Yeah. There's da, 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 da. Um, was it nice to have them join the gang or was it a bit like, mm, what do you know? No, it was really <laughs> lovely because they bring a completely different energy and imperative. And, um, you know, you, you can't just sort of stay in the past. You've got to move them all forward and their lives, have all they've all moved forward. And it was mostly it was mostly filmed on location, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah. we filmed in Manchester and we filmed in Sheffield. And presumably the first film, the original film, was filmed in Sheffield. Yes, it was all in Sheffield. So what, I mean, did the people kind of welcome you back? Was it a bit of a shock? Or like, oh. They were thrilled, I believe. Um, <laughs> I believe. I believe. I didn't speak to them myself. No, 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 no. no. Uh, the reason I'm saying that, Graham, is because Bobby Carlyle had to do a scene with some pigeons where he was oh, standing yeah. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah, middle yeah. of a square covered in pigeons. Yeah. And as he was standing there covered in pigeons, someone walked past him and said, it's so nice to have you back. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, I think they were. I think, I yes, and, you know, the, the series, as the film was, is a bit of a love letter to Sheffield and the people of Sheffield. So we feel very thrilled to go back there. And we had the premiere there on Monday. Um, and that was great. There were loads of people who turned up to see us. And um, it's... Nice to feel that they're happy to have us back. And for you as an actor, you know, this playing, I always think, like, playing a role in a film or in a play, you know, there's a, a journey, a short arc. What's it like playing someone over what will be eight hours? Do you approach it in a different way or is it all just the same? No, I, I, no, I mean, I mean, I think I'm, sometimes it's a bit... Uh, nerve-wracking because you'll maybe have four scripts when you start filming and so you've got to wait for the other four and then of course you know there's there might be a massive twist you might get written out in episode five I mean, <laughs> you know you just don't know um but no you it's it's the same really did you revisit the film before you revisited the character well there was a sort of reunion get together for um 25 years uh, a screening of it at the screen on the green and um a load of us got together and went and saw that and simon was there and he i think then he might have been thinking about what was coming down the line so i saw the film then and then um about 18 months later oh, okay. this emerged so i had you know seen it recently yeah and what's it like seeing it again um, well, it, 
it's great. I mean, I think it really stands up. Um, it's a bit of a shocker seeing yourself. Um, <laughs> You know, because none of us have aged. Uh, no, none of us have aged. We all like to pretend that we're still. Although you know, there was certain. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. But then that was also <laughs> the brilliant thing about us all being back together again, is that you know all of those characters, and then all of us as actors, have had the great good fortune to live for another 25 years since we made that film. And actually there was something very moving about all of that experience and, you know, the way that our lives have all gone in different directions, all of that being back in the room. And the same is true of those characters. So it, it, it feels very rich, actually, coming back together again like that and a real privilege because it's rare in life, but it's really rare in our business yeah. because you tend to do a job and then you scatter to the four winds, you know. And what's weird about it, I think, back there is they bond so much that you know, it's such deep bond yeah. and then you're right, you never see each other again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but also, you didn't just bond, you you went through something with the full Monty. Because, you know, before we went on air, you were talking about how, you know, it was ne this was never meant to be. The full Monty, no one thought it was going to be this global hit. No, no. Uh, um, I mean, you know, there was... Um, Bobby said, you know, oh, I thought that it would maybe play for four weeks up north and then disappear. And um, I remember I was on a beach in Portugal on holiday... And um, a friend said, oh, you know that film that you did in Sheffield? It's um, opened in America. It's got a really good review here. Um, and we were like, oh, great. God, amazing. So they opened it in America before it came to the UK. Oh, really? And it did really well in the States. Um, apparently, it played only in four cinemas in LA and two cinemas in New York. And then there was this whole word of mouth thing and then people were queuing around the block and then everybody was saying, oh my God, this film is incredible. And I think one of the reasons that it sort of went the way that it did is because that community, those people who, you know, are at the sharp end financially, spiritually, emotionally, philosophically, they're not validated necessarily by the government of the day. That is the same globally. There are communities like that everywhere. So I think that audiences really connected with that group of people at the sharp end, but coping with it in a way that's full of energy and vitality and life and wit and humour. It's not doom and gloom. So, yeah. you know, I think that um, the same is true of our series, is that it takes some of the issues of the day very seriously, but the tone remains the same of the film, which is that it's warm and funny and kind and enabling, and it's about a community supporting one another. So I think maybe we're all in need of a bit yeah. of a lift and a but, but also, I should say, it was so much funnier than I thought it was going to be. So, because, you know, because on paper, you kind of think, oh, it's people struggling, you know, yeah. and da-da-da. But actually, lots of really good jokes. Yeah. It's very yeah, funny. Yeah, 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 yeah Good, yeah. good, yeah. good. Um, and in fact, I think I when I interviewed uh, Robert Carlyle about it, I think he said he, he thought it was a terrible film till he saw it with an audience. I think he told me that, where he saw it with an audience and suddenly got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I've, yeah. I'm, I mean, you know... Yeah, audiences just took it to their hearts. And I didn't get... I haven't seen the last one, so is it possible that I'll be talking to you in a year and a half about more Full Monty? Um, well, you know, it's like all these things, Graham. It all depends on how well it goes down with audiences. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think even if Simon, you know... I, I, in fact, I'm pretty certain that Simon feels that there's more to tell about these characters, but all of that is dependent on whether or not it goes down well. But I think all of us feel very, um, very wedded to it and yeah. very affectionate towards it and would be very pleased to revisit it. Yeah, I have to say, one of the things, it, it, there's nothing about it that feels cynical. It doesn't feel no. like all of you kind of going, let's cash in on no. this thing. No, It feels it's, really no, the... sincere and genuine. Yeah and, yeah, and I think that that, again, is sort of what makes it so brilliant right now is that we're really in need of something which is genuine and heartfelt rather than man manipulative and cynical. Yeah.